Hello and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. This is where I share my collection of bath and body works, body care, other kinds of body care, candles, home fragrance, and my love of fragrance. I collect a lot of bath and body works and a lot of different fragrances and try like to try new things. Today I'm gonna to show you two small things from a haul that I got from Mercari. They are two DW Home candles. I am expecting other items to, you know, this week, later today from Bath and Body Works and a couple other things that I ordered, but I'm going to film a little bit different every day. First, I'm going to go over I Love You a Latte. This one is a strawberry vanilla latte. This one I really like. It is very sweet. Um, there's not much latte to it, but there is plenty of strawberry. I did notice a tiny tiny bit of soot right there and I had some tunneling issues with this so I had it wrapped in foil this morning when I was burning it otherwise it's actually been pretty good I won't always be going you know burning the candles before I show you what my haul is but that one I happened to because I got it yesterday I didn't feel like filming anything this one is coffee is my valentine which Aside from my husband, it very much is. This is raspberry white mocha. Usually that's not something I would order. Neither of these would be because I don't like fruity drinks, but I do like the smell of fruity stuff. But um, white mocha, I don't like the flavor or the smell's okay, but it's not really something I'm really into. But it smells pretty good now. I might burn this later today. So I can let you know in a later video what happened, anything in particular or if I liked it or not. I am really gaga for these candles. I think they're... <laughs> um, I do like that the glass is a lot thicker than Bath & Body Works glass on their candles. These are more reasonable. They are single wicks, but even their single wicks tend to be about the same price as the Bath & Body Works ones or uh, even cheaper. And they feel heavier, but I think that's because of the glass. I don't think, do I have one? This one has seven ounces and this one has 11. So it might be more worth it. Um, I did go on their website after I had got this and they have quite a selection. There's one that I have coming that I'm actually super excited about that my husband told me that I'm really gross for, but I couldn't help myself. Um, and I will review that when it gets here next week. But until then, until my next in my next uh, haul review, which will be later this afternoon or tomorrow, I will see you then. Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. So today, I'm going to go through a box of a Bath & Body Works haul. Um, it came in three different boxes because I made three orders in the same day. The reason why is because they had a code for getting something free, and who doesn't like free stuff? So I'm going to start with the handbags. I haven't taken them out yet, but let's see if I can flip this. Champagne Toast. This is um, one of my top lists. And I've got warm vanilla sugar. I'm missing some handbags. Oh, they're buried. <clears throat> I've got A Thousand Wishes, which I almost actually bought more A Thousand Wishes, but I have so much stuff that I didn't know if I really wanted it or not. And then I got Gingham Love. And this actually goes with the other Gingham stuff that I got. I got a hand sanitizer holder. This one was on clearance for like six something. And I'm going to end up ordering another one because my daughter always takes these and she was like going through the boxes with me and really wanted one. And I also got a little pink hand sanitizer holder. I do have a collection I started of those. So I'm going to start with the Gingham Love, which I got three of the lotion. This is like this really pretty red and it kind of makes me sad that I didn't decorate back here for Valentine's Day, but I usually don't decorate for Valentine's Day because it's just like a one day, not a big deal thing. This one actually smells really good. Um, I'm hoping to get the perfume. I kind of wanted the big one of the perfume, but I don't want perfume that much. 
It's kind of hard for me to smell in the lotion right now, but I know I can smell it in the... I got three of these. It has sweetness in it. Uh, sugared red berries, blushing freesia, and rose meringue. Usually I'm not like a freesia or rose person, but this one actually has a nice touch to it. I got three of the sprays here. And I didn't even know if I was really gonna love it or not, but I figured if I couldn't, if I didn't love it, I could probably gift it. I got two of the shower gels. When I went back the third time there, I could not find the shower gel for some reason. I think it might've just been me, <clears throat> which is a good possibility. And next we have some hand soaps. I know I already got this set, but you know, out of everything that they had, I really didn't care for some of the other fragrances or sets. And I really love the design and think this is super cute. So I'm probably gonna end up saving the bottles to them or at least one set, not all of them. I might, I mean, you can always refill these with shower gel and a little bit of water if say that you don't have any other hand soaps, which is actually a good tip. So <clears throat> like I said, I was going to be stocking up on hand soap. Um, next, this one, the top of the bottle was leaking last night, but it looks like it may have recovered. This smells exactly like Boardwalk Taffy to me. Um, is it still leaking? No, it didn't leak this time. It smells exactly the same. So I probably won't be using this for a while because I do have some Boardwalk Taffy that I need to finish first. But I got the lotion. And, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, that was the body gel. This is the lotion. I did notice like the cap was off of this, which kind of frustrated me a little bit. And this has like a little scratch right there. I'm just gonna keep them. I mean, if it's not leaking like I thought it was, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is and not make a big deal out of it. I did notice the cap came off during shipping, which I mean, they could have, they used to put like tape right here when they shipped them. Now they don't. I also got bubbly rose. So now I have the whole brunch set going on. And this one, I was pleasantly surprised because I usually don't go for rosy scents, anything with rose in it, but it's bubbly rose. So it's not bad. It doesn't, it has like pink sparkling rose, rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry. So I was reading it wrong that entire time, and I'm glad I got this. <clears throat> and last but not least, I got more strawberry pound cake. Why does that not surprise me? Um, the sprays I don't go through as much as I do the body creams. Uh, let's see, I got one more shower gel because I have some already. And I got three more lotions, but I can go through one of these lotions in a week or less, depending. I mean, during the summer isn't as bad, but during the winter I use a lot of it. So maybe a week, week and a half at the most for one of these. So body cream usually lasts me a little bit longer. And what I've been doing is kind of spacing out, doing different scents and, you know, every night or every morning. So I have like a little rotation going on. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I kind of want to try Gingham Love. I wanted to do like a review for that one, but I'm kind of, I'm waiting. I might do it at the end of the week. I'm not sure, but I thought it was, I thought it would be like really, really good. So that was a surprising scent. It reminds me of something that I used to have a long time ago from Victoria's Secret, but I don't remember the name of it at all whatsoever. It's good though. I really like this one. Definitely gonna use up my stock on it. I'm, I try not, I try to use things even though I don't want to, you know, because you want to save it and it's special and it smells good. Um, <clears throat> the main reason why I am doing my hauls every single day to do a video at the end of the week is mainly because I want to put this stuff away. I don't want to have a bunch of boxes sitting around. So everyone have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to the incredible life of Kat. 
Today, I am going through a box that came last night and a couple of things that I picked up yesterday. I went to Dollar Tree and Walgreens and they had Method Hand Soap over at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So I got Sea Minerals, which I've never smelled, and Cucumber Water. Thought I'd try these out, see what happens. Let's see. That's a little bit sea smelling to me. I don't know if that's really something I'm used to, but I don't mind. I don't really mind it. Okay, and this one doesn't want to open. Cucumber. That one smells nice, but it smells just like a limey cucumber, sort of. So, we'll eventually try these out. I'll add them to my collection back behind me. And at Walgreens, I saw Pink Vanilla Kiss, and I had some dollars, I guess you'd say, like $2 off of it. Plus, it was already on sale. So, I went ahead and got another one of these because I'm going to be using up my other one, my other big one, pretty soon. Um... I did get a box from Bath and Body Works and I got extra lotions and I was missing some sprays. So I had ordered two of the gels for Hibiscus Paradise and I got three on accident. And I had ordered two of the Hibiscus Paradise body creams and I ended up with four of them. So, um, I'm not complaining. Uh, they were really helpful. Customer service went ahead and sent out the two body mists that I'm missing for that. And I was missing a lotion to go with pink chiffon. I was supposed to get two of these and I only got one. So they're going to be sending that soon. But I also got the shower gels for pink chiffon and the fine fragrance mist for pink chiffon. This one is really good if you like something very sugary. And very sweet and then I also got two of the coconut cream pie because I really do like that scent I know it's not in my top 10 but I will use it so <laughs> I'll get used up I got two of the lotions and two of the shower gels and I'm not complaining um, I do prefer the lotions to the creams I love the way the creams feel um, you know they're really really nice and moisturizing and they don't mess up my skin or anything but they go bad if you have too many of the sugary scents like the vanilla scents with them so I try not to push my limits with that but uh, some of this might go up on Mercari since I don't um, know if I'm going to use four of these five because I have a, a full set behind me already but other than that I don't have too many updates I was feeling a little bit lazy and tired this morning, so I didn't put on any makeup, but I did get dressed at least, so that's a plus. Um, I should have some fun upcoming videos pretty soon. I'm thinking about doing, like I have a lot of coffee candles and coffee fragrances. I'm waiting for one of my coffee fragrances to come in and I might do like a little comparison and a sniff test on that. Other than that, um, that's all I have to share today and I'll talk to you again soon, bye. Hi, and welcome back to The Incredible Life of Cat. I am back with more of a haul from last week that came in. So, they, there is some Goose Creek hand soaps and one body set. This is an older body set that I found on Mercari and I was interested in it. And it's a little, this one's a little bit baffling actually to me. It is Wild Strawberry which I didn't even see about this one or know it existed until recently. It popped up on there and I had to have it. It, it kind of reminds me of like the Plumeria or some kind of strawberry from back in the 90s where it, it's not that it smells artificial. It doesn't smell like real strawberries. It smells like a floral smoothie. I smell floral, which is the jasmine petals and blonde woods, garden strawberry and white peaches. And I think that's why 
I'm not sure if I like it or not. Um, I mean, I love strawberry, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I don't know, it seems just kind of weird for a strawberry scent. It's like I like it, but I'm not sure where to, like, what category I really want to place it in. It's like a floral fruity. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be trying this, but I am pretty excited about it. And I absolutely love the packaging. That's like an adorable little, not a, well, I guess kind of a sketch or, no, I'm trying to think of the word. I'm trying to think, doodle of strawberry to me, at least, you know, I, I love, absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Um, if not for the scent, I do love the packaging, but that is one of the things that I have. And then next one is a whole bunch of Goose Creek hand soap. I heard that they're pretty good, so we're going to try them out and see. I already have strawberry pound cake in the bathroom. We need another one in the other bathroom, in the hall bathroom, so I'm not sure. I might put one of these out. This one is O oh Sunshine. It's definitely floral and springy, which is kind of what I was, you know, hoping for. Fragrance notes are mandarin, warm and warm vanilla amber, and sandalwood. You know, I'm getting a lot of mandarin, and I don't know if it's the sandalwood, but to me, it's more. It smells kind of florally, but it might be my nose. Um, that one's okay. I'm, I don't know which one I'm gonna put in the bathroom. This one is snowman cookie. Um, sugar cookies, swirled icing, bakery notes, I don't know what bakery notes is, and vanilla marshmallow. Um, I do question Goose Creek sometimes on their, I wonder about their descriptions because what exactly is a bakery note? I, I mean, you could come up with another word. To me, it smells like a little bit like sugar cookie, like that baked smell and a whole bunch of sugar. So... I don't know, I might put that in the bathroom. There is rays for days, pineapple, lush melon, clementine, and soft sandalwood. It's definitely a nice clean scent and I just got some on my nose. Um, with a little bit of pineapple in there. This we might be using pretty soon. I'm, I'm kind of trying you know, not just bakery, but other fragrances. So if someone comes to my house, they're not stuck with bakery scents when they can't stand it. This to me just smells like sugar. <laughs> That's weird. Pum vanilla pumpkin waffle, creamy vanilla, pumpkin twist, soft spices, and vanilla waffle. I don't smell any waffle. I smell a whole shit ton of sugar in there. Weekend Getaway, which for some reason made me think of Endless Weekend from Bath & Body Works. Um, cotton candy, strawberry, sponge sugar, amber, and vanilla. It doesn't smell like Endless Weekend, but it just, it smells almost like a generic um, fresh fragrance. So we're going to have to see about that. We're going to see how that goes. Um... Tropical Dream, which I love the packaging. That is a pretty picture. Makes me think of uh, a trip to Hawaii, actually. Um, juicy, fresh pineapple, star apple, guava, palm leaf, soft bamboo. This is the one. This smells like pineapple, the palm leaf, and bamboo. It's really... It smells like Lee, kind of like a leaf would if you picked it up, like a palm leaf kind of thing. It's weird, but refreshing. Lush Getaway. Uh, strawberry, raspberry, colorful clouds, cashmere, and citrus. I didn't know colorful clouds had a fragrance that went with them. If I ever see a colorful cloud, I'll be sure to sniff. I don't smell any clouds. I, I smell the cashmere and a little bit of raspberry strawberry in there, but I'm not sure what clouds are supposed to smell like, so I know what rain smells like, rain clouds, but um, scarlet apple, red apple, nasty pear, red berries, soft vanilla, and sugared woods. <laughs> Let me know where the sugared woods are. I want to go there. <clears throat> 
It smells like apple and real, like real apple, not synthetic apples. So, <clears throat> all right, unicorn candy. I got this because I have the candle and I really love the candle. <clears throat> This one smells like off from the can. The candle smells like sweet and like sugar. The hand soap is blue raspberry, candied sugar, rock candy, and berry. All I'm smelling is like a berry mix going on in there. Not really like a candy-ish fragrance. And then we've got black amber plum, which I don't know if I liked this one or not. I think I did. Yes, this one has sweet plums, mandarin, jasmine, black amber, and patchouli. I actually really like this one. <clears throat> I've been curious about like patchouli and cashmere fragrances. And the last one here is grape soda. And this actually I might put in the bathroom in the hallway. There might be some people that come over and don't want to wash their hands at my house anymore. Because it smells exactly like one of those purple grape crush crush drinks it kind of makes me want one I don't know if that'll work out very well if my stomach's gonna tolerate it because I don't drink soda but I might want to put this in the bat in the hall bathroom because that's the one that my daughter uses <clears throat> overall I mean I'm hoping they're gonna work well I've never really used a goose creek before I did notice that they don't fill them all the way to the top and I wonder why that is as well um so that is my haul that came in yesterday. I'm expecting a few small things, I think today or tomorrow, and I should be able to post my haul video for you. But until then, just remember, you know, we wanna figure out what the clouds are smelling like. And uh, if you know what a candy cloud, I don't know, I'm looking for the one that had the candy cloud on there. I think it was this one. Yes, colorful clouds. If you know what colorful clouds smell like, please comment below and let me know. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to my videos because there's going to be more content coming up. Thanks. Bye. Welcome back to the Incredible Life of Cat. I forgot something. Um, there were a few other things that I got in my haul that came in yesterday. This, which I know they had this at Bath & Body Works, but... They don't always have these online, and I don't go into the store very much. Uh, number one reason, it's an hour away. Number two reason, you know, no one around here seems to wear, wear masks. And I already got the Rona once, so I like to protect myself. I'd rather just sanitize packages. Um, I also got this little guy that came my daughter keeps trying to steal these, but I have them. I, I have them up on my candles, and this guy is super, super cute. I actually wanted to get the candle holder with this one and the soap holder and everything, but the soap holder, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm on the fence on buying soap holders because then you're covering up, like, the pretty packaging on the soaps, and I don't really want to do that. And I also have soaps that don't fit into those, so for me, it's kind of 50-50, you know, my decor in my bathroom doesn't always match. I might get like a nice soap holder that matches some of those, um, not the faceted candles, but the candles with the diamond lids, like the one that I'm burning right now, because I'm gonna use those in my bathroom to put like cotton balls, ear, you know, the swabby swabs and all that stuff in. This also came, I don't, you know, I wanted to say thank you. I can't remember what package it came in last night. I know it was one of the hand sanitizer holders, but I don't remember. So I kind of feel like an a-hole for that. But um, it's Sunflower Pop and it smelled all right when I sprayed it on myself. I'm not gonna spray it right now. It doesn't, it's reminiscent of that Sunflower that they used to have, that one that they used to have in the, in the store, the cheaper one my mom used to wear it all the time. Um, but it's, it's not, definitely not the same. Definitely not like a dupe or anything. But I almost forgot about these. And I think this little pink milkshake is just like the cutest thing in the world. Same with this guy. These are like so adorable. And I do collect little cute, adorable things like this every once in a while. And hiding them for my child is also a chore, but 
she understands, hey, I'll let you borrow one, but you have to bring it back and it has to stay clean, that kind of stuff. But I wanted to make sure I added that to my haul video that I'm going to post on Saturday. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, and welcome to the incredible life of Cat. Here on my channel, I deal a lot with fragrances, mostly things in my collection. I like to share what I have in my collection, my hauls, my opinions, and so forth. Today, I am finishing up a haul. I just did a video about coffee themed items that I have like Bath and Body Works products, um, you know, home fragrance, things like that. And I realized that during that video, I'm not gonna retape it, but my shirt wasn't showing. This is a cute little shirt. I think I got it from Shein. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to show you the rest of my haul from this week. I'm going to post this video tomorrow and let's get started. I have Lush Cup of Coffee. This is not the same one from my coffee video. This is the new one that I have because the other one is running low. I usually go through these about once a month. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer. I had like, you know, a little spat where I kept forgetting to put it on before taking a shower and whatnot. It kind of comes and goes, but if I'm going to do my makeup, I definitely use that because it helps a little bit with my face. I always look very, very tired first thing in the morning. And the other thing I got from Lush was the cutest bath bomb ever. I saw this and I had to get it. I'm sorry. I have a beetle, so I couldn't help myself. Um, I don't remember the fragrance notes. I know there's lavender. And I think some lemon in here too. It smells really good and I think it'd be good for like either... It's Friday, so probably a Friday night bath or, you know, Sunday afternoon soak, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to save it for. And I think when I do that, I will do like a little video clip of it so I can put something in there. But the other thing that I got, I had ordered this from Mercari. They are soaps. I think they're from last year. I got a 10-pack. I am very excited and I know it seems like I have a shit ton of soap, but I go through anywhere from two to four of these a month, maybe more, um, since there's going to be from, instead of five people, there's going to be three people in the house. I probably won't go through as much, but I'm the one that's home most of the time and I wash my hands a lot, especially now. Um, the only thing I don't like about ordering online, and this had nothing to do with the Mercari seller. When Bath and Body Works sells the sends these, they glue them, and that is what happens sometimes. So I am gonna sit here tonight and probably try to deglue that to figure out what works for that. But I'm pretty excited about these. I like all the fragrances. I believe it was from one of the brunch things. I have to look on to see what year these were actually made. Um Strawberry Pound Cake is a favorite of mine. Pink Petal, I like all of these. I've, I've tried each of these in a candle um, and only three of them in a body care. So I'm gonna tell you how the rest of them turn out. What, okay, this one is definitely stuff. If someone knows what year these are from, they can message me and let me know or comment below. I would like to know just, just to have the information on my, um, for my collection, but I really, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. I have all my soaps down here right now. I have more under the bathroom sink in the master bathroom, and I might just put some under the sink in the kitchen or under the sink in the hall bathroom to see what's going on. But that is my haul for this week. Anything else that comes in tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and put for next week's haul. So. You have a great weekend and be sure to subscribe and like on my videos and channel and I will talk to you later. Bye.